What's going on guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today uh, we have a gaggle of James Phillips personal packs so I decided to do all of them in just one uh, well, gaggle video if you will. He won these packs uh, during our buy any spot promo. He won an 85 tops hockey pack, an 86 tops football pack, and an 84 tops football pack. So we're going to bust those open for him. We got a nice pile of uh, card series right here. And I'm sure everyone in the chat will tell me when I pull a hit or when I don't. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You're still learning. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so 15 out of 100 has one entry left. Oh, right. So. The 15 out of 100 has one entry left, guys. That means you have one chance left to uh, triple dip. And then uh, no more triple dipping for a while. All right, James. So I know these are all personals, so it doesn't matter where we start. Uh, but we do start under the gum. Uh, we're going to see. This gum is on there. I'm not going to. <laughs> I can't remove it, unfortunately. Uh, it's on a Bob Nano. Oh, well, let's just look at the front. Uh, Bob Mano. That was close, you know. The gum blocked uh, the M. <clears throat> miss, miss, hit. What? <laughs> sounds, no like battle, sounds like Battleship. It's like a, uh, it's a chant. They're getting ready for the big hits. He wants uh, no whammies. Or press your luck. Yeah, exactly. All right, next, James, we have a Tom Lizlack. <clears throat> uh, if, you know, we want, um, if we want a French accent, guys, just let me know. Whoa. I can bust it out for you. Uh, and we are great. I just want to double check something. This is our 85 hockey. Um, 84 football. Uh, hey, Rob. Uh, this pack right here is uh, should be an 86 uh, football. And this is an 86 uh, hockey. It's okay, we didn't bust it yet. It's all good. Thank you. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Next, we have Dino Siccarelli. 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 You know, he's playing hockey. I don't know why he's Italian. I don't I don't <laughs> understand what's happening. Mama would let me go out to football. Right. So he should be play. making pasta in the kitchen. I'm making pasta in the fazool, and I'm <laughs> playing hockey on the side. And I'm a, I'm a hit the people. I'm a hit the people, oh. I'm in the exhibits. Very nice, Chris. <clears throat> say it more Canadian. <laughs> Do you want me to say A at the end of everything? Maple syrup A. <clears throat> hockey A. Mugil Goulet. A. Oh, French it up there. There you go, there you French go. Canadian he said Canadian it up, so, uh, you know. Samuel Rosenstein, Frenching it up. Oh, oh. Off to church. I'll see what exhibits I got later tonight. All right, Steven. Catch you later, bro. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> Enjoy. Have fun at Mass. Next, we have Dave Maloney. Yeah, no, I can't do this, guys. That voice is not uh, <laughs> it's not happening today. You know, my I left my water at my desk. My throat is dry. It's not happening. Would you would you like your water? Hey guys, now come on, Lil. <laughs> oh yes, please. Okay. Uh, Dino was an NHL great. Oh, was he? Oh, that's awesome. Wait, is Dino the Italian guy I was making fun of? <laughs> I'm just saying he probably makes a mean meatball. It's a meat <clears throat> We have a Brian Trotter trotting it up in here. Are you good with the water? Yeah, no, that's fine. Right. Appreciate it. I have expected with a bad Italian accent for when you say it's a me Mario. I, I resisted. It's, uh, you know? I was waiting. I was like, what are you going to say that? He's a Oh, okay. Gotcha, Steven. All right. Next, we have uh, Ray Bork. Hey, I recognize that name. That's a, that's a very good hockey player. So that's very amazing. good. But this isn't like his rookie or anything, right? What year? Uh, this is... 85 tops. Ray Bork? 80 is his rookie. 80? Okay, so. I don't know anything about that, but I just find it funny for your Swedish chef. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, next we have Mike Lewett. 
great pack of Hall of Famers. That's right, Ken. This is a great pack of Hall of Famers. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, this is Mike Lewitt. I think I told you they're a bunch of bums. You won't even know. I would have agreed with them. <laughs> <clears throat> Pronounced Cicerelli. Wait, who? The Italian guy? <laughs> oh, pasta. hold on. Oh, okay. The maker? Dino Cicerelli. <laughs> there you go. Was that... Did we do it? Todd, do I get an A? A plus. Do I pass? I need to know. Next we have Jerry Curry. Card savers. Alright, we have a... Next for... A, well, every card is for James Phillips. We have Tom Barrasso. Barrasso. Oh, perfect. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That was it. You got the approval from Ken. Chef Boyardee. I mean, <laughs> all right. I believe you guys. I guess, you know, Dino wasn't just a good hockey player. He was, he was Chef. Chef Boyardee. Whoa. He's moonlighting. Right? He's, he's a man of multiple talents. <laughs> oh. Uh, next we have Paul Coffey. That's an easy one. I said caught. Listen, all right. I know what coffee looks like. Okay. I, I mean, that was an easy one. Yeah, that was like a softball. Yeah. They underhanded that to me. We have Reed Larson. No relation to Brie Larson. I mean, I don't know. They could be cousins. <laughs> all right. And finally, we have a John Ogrodnik. There you go, guys. That was it. That was a hundred percent it. Don't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> All right, James. This was your 85 Tops Hockey Pack. Next, we have... Let me... I 86 Tops Football Pack for you. <clears throat> and where it's, it's, it's her dad. So, oh, my gosh. No, it's the it, soft, it, soft. 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 Whatever you say. That's like, that's like Staten Island-ish. Oh, okay. Now football, American names. Yes, this will be a thousand times easier, <laughs> even though I think I nailed those hockey names. I mean, you, you did pretty good. <clears throat> That's right. My favorite one, Cicerelli. Oh, fuck at the Cicerelli. You know, for a curveball, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> James, I don't know if you're watching. Uh, if you want, um, if you want me to go slower, let me know. <clears throat> no gum on this. Oh, it didn't stick anyway. If you want me to go faster, what, what do you? How, are you enjoying the show, James? Doing my best to keep it entertaining. <clears throat> and you can't teach that. That's right, Rob. <laughs> it's actually. I got uh, to Dino's bar quite a bit for a big game. Oh, okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Bada boo! <laughs> oh, this guy. <clears throat> it's actually wrestling stuff that we're, we're referencing. Oh. Is uh so Doug, you keep up with modern wrestling? Yes. So is Rhonda still in the WWE? Because I know I she... heard there were in talks of her leaving. So she left after WrestleMania, which was back in April. Okay. Um, James, we have a John Hannah. She apparently was trying to uh, start a family. That's good. So she left. I don't know if she, she might come back. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So I was reading something like she's in something called Diva something right Total now. Divas. Okay. Which is, which is a TV show on E. That was with all the female wrestlers and whatnot. Okay, is it just them like hanging out? Pretty much. Gotcha. It's, like, it's kind of like reality TV with the with the lady wrestlers. We have Mark Bravaro. Okay. Bravaro, yeah. <clears throat> but it's so it's not wrestling. It's just. It's. I mean, they show some of the stuff from them like in matches and whatnot, but it's more of like. The, it's a more TV show. It's more reality. So. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. All right. No problem. Yeah, I heard. I saw a tweet from her saying like she would never be totally done with WWE. Mm -hmm. Like she just can't. Cause like I mean, from MMA to WWE, uh, you're it's a dramatic change. Dramatic change, oh, and yeah. you know she did it pretty well. She did. Uh, next we have a Patriots uh, AFC Championship card. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm not personally a Patriots fan, but you know. No, you kind of root for uh, their rival. Uh, listen, man. I don't want to talk about the rivalry. All I know is they I mean, uh, no, deflated some balls. I think that. <laughs> All right, that was actually a real call. <clears throat> and Tom Brady also deflated, you know, actual football too, but you know, that's another story. <clears throat> right, right. Uh, because uh, let's get back to the breaks, guys. What's on camera? We have a stump, Michael. 
nailed that name. <clears throat> there are they're doing a long, slow build for Ronda to come back in a four horse woman angle. That would be amazing, yeah, Rob. I need to like backlog to like I because I haven't been keeping up with WD at all, and I want to watch like when she first got announced and like Raw Rumble. Yeah. So basically, you just go back to 2018 and just we have uh, Lewis slips and just start watching. Yep. Because <clears throat> like I know like the wrestlers are like, like characters mm-hmm. and they have like story and everything. Oh. So like if I could just read that instead of like watching all the different. Uh, episodes that'd be cool too. No, no. <laughs> Don't they have comic? Some of them have like a comic now or something. Uh, we have a Cowboys Hill uh, Hill evades defenders. Okay. Michael, I said Michael, or is it Mitchell? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I think that's what he Mitchell. Mitchell, not. not Michael. Yeah. I. All right. Now hold on. Flag on the play. Okay, fine. There's a T. All right. All right. You got that. Sure. Sure. Kevin Becky seems to try too hard. <clears throat> Kevin and Becky seem to so try. So Becky Lynch. Oh, okay, 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 okay. She's the she's like the o- most over wrestler, right? Or ladies wrestler, but yeah. We got Ray Guy. So did Ronda win uh, her WrestleMania match? She lost. She lost. Dang. <sighs> Wonder how much they paid her to lose. Oh, she got paid pretty well by WWE. Oh, so. I can only imagine. Yeah. All right. launched our, uh, they just created hit random. So Very cool. When you're done with that, you want to show off a couple of highlights. Sure, All right, All right guys. Next, we have a uh, Gary Anderson. We have a uh, Boomer Assassin. 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 Is this um? This is is this Boomer from Boomer and Carmen? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's Boomer from Boomer and Car- and now G- Boomer and Geo. But right, right. Now yeah. it's Boomer and Geo. That is Boomer size. Uh, oh, this is cool. Yep. That's awesome. My aunt used to uh, listen to Boomer and Carmen all the time. Like, every time we would go to a Jet game, that's what we'd be listening to. Oh, uh, yeah. I think... I'm kind of... Okay. Uh, Thousand Yard Club. We have uh, James Lofton. Go. Once I hit my forties, I somehow started to watch wrestling and collect baseball cards again. <clears throat> Rob, you know we we get into uh, things at different times, you know. I, uh, I never, so, like, I'm gonna go back to my nerdy roots real quick, because <clears throat> I'm more of a nerd than I am a sports guy. Uh, I never played, uh, D&D, uh, at all, but, uh, when I hit, like, you know, 24, uh, D&D started getting popular, so I checked it out, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, now I'm playing D&D, but I never thought I would be playing it now, versus when I was younger. We have, a Darren Nelson. You know, it's just, it's weird. Like, sometimes things catch your interest at different ages. It's... I feel like Pokemon kind of just kind of circled right around. Yeah, you know, too. Pokemon was uh, doing very well, and then they announced Pokemon Go, and then... It just took off. It took off. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Go was, like, one of the best moves they've made in a long time. Uh, next we have Stefan Page. Probably Stefan Page. Could be Stefan. Stefan. If we're pronouncing the O. Rob, I'm over 60, don't really follow wrestling, but I got back into cards a year ago. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. I, I, uh, I, I tried to play, like, card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon when I was younger. Uh, never could really, uh, support the hobby. And then, uh, you know, back when I was, like, 20, uh, just in college, I started playing card games again. It's just weird, you know? Sometimes you just circle around to the hobbies you love. It's uh, it's really cool. Have uh, a five. Oh, after that pack, sorry. Oh no, it's fine. We're doing a. It's like his personal gaggle, so I uh-huh. have one more pack. Great. 
There's a five dollar bonus run announced from six to seven. Okay. And then this is now live. The high end, oh, not the high end, the regular hit random. Right. Okay. Right. Just one of the boxes. Sure, no problem. All right, guys. So we have a five dollar bonus from six p.m. to seven p.m. with three prizes. Top prize is a fifty dollar break credit. Second place is a two thousand nineteen Prism <clears throat> uh, blaster box. Blaster box. All right. Here's the blaster box, guys. <clears throat> you have a chance at a Zion. And third will be a 70 top set spot. So that's live right now, guys. It's a $5 bonus, 6 to 7 p.m. There you go, Doug. I'm going to put that on the screen, guys. <clears throat> My kids never stopped. Uh, was fantasy uh, sports. <clears throat> I've always been recommended fantasy leagues. I've just never uh, tried. All right, so we have a $5 bonus. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. $5 bonus. First is a $50 break credit. Second is a uh, blaster box. And third is a 70 tops set spot. Did the 15 or 100 fill? It's the one spot left. One spot left? Okay, I'm going to update that. All right, there we go, guys. And how many spots left in the 15 at 50? Uh, 15 at 50 has nine spots left. Nine spots left. All right, there you guys go. I updated the spots on the screen. Also, guys, we have a new hit random live. <clears throat> I'm going to show this off to you uh, really quick. We have a nice 53 tops Mickey Mantle, PSA 2.5. There you go. We have a T206 Sweet Caporal, Bobby Wallace, PSA 4. And we have a 64 tops Mickey Mantle, PSA 3. This hit random is live on our site right now, guys. We'll check that out right after this gaggle. We'll go on to the Vintage Break site together, and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, here you go, Doug. Just give that to Rob. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, James. Next is your uh, Carl Mickle Mecklenburg. <clears throat> Couple more cards in this pack. How do you buy a spot? Well, Donnie R., you asked the right man. Let me tell you. Let me just finish this pack, Donnie, and I will walk you through it. We have Kosar fakes handoff on the Browns. Never mind, haha. <laughs> okay, all right, Donnie, no problem. <clears throat> oh, Nightbot just put it in the chat. That's why. Gotcha, Donnie. <laughs> I didn't even see Nightbot. All right. We next we have Frank Bush. We have. Dennis Thurman. All right, Kaggart, have a good night, sir. <clears throat> and final card in this pack is a Mike Bell. He has a mullet, if I've ever seen one. That was the time for mullets. I mean, if you say so. I feel like mullets were out of style when they were st in style. Well, that's the 80s, so I mean, the hairstyles were all, like, like my dad had an afro in the 80s. And uh, you can still fine. explain it so I don't screw it up. Okay, Donnie, no problem. Um, so, let me... Uh, Doug, you want to uh, explain it to Donnie, uh, how it works in the chat? In the chat you know? Yeah, I, mean, I, I sent him the link, but yeah, that's not a problem. That's true. That's true. Hey, when the man bun's out of style, I will uh, cut it. Uh, we have a 84 tops football pack. This is the last pack for James Phillips. We have a uh, another Mike Bell. That's interesting. Mike Bell back to back. He finally got rid of the mullet, guys. We have a uh, Al Baker. 
Would anybody be interested in a Bose duel? Uh, Kenson, so you could actually uh, post that in our Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, and Trade group. Uh, Dougie can leave you a link in the chat. That way, uh, you know, that's where we do all of our uh, offers. We don't do it uh, on our chat while we're uh, live. Carl, uh, Carlos Carlson. You have a Jim Pluckett. Oh, no, it's all good, Kenson. Uh, but uh, Doug just dropped the link, uh, so you can hop on in there and uh, put it up. Uh, most of the people in our community are in that Facebook group. <clears throat> uh, we have a Steve Barkowski. Steve Barkowski. Yeah, yeah, I nailed that. I nailed that. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a uh, Super Play Football, uh, I guess, a giveaway. Uh, next, we have a uh, Florence Kempel for the Oilers. I hope I brought enough card savers, James. Hmm. Uh, we have a uh, a John Anderson. for the Packers. Next, we have Ron Jow Jowarski. 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 With the Eagles. I may. I am going to need card savers. Um, unless they're over here. I got some over here. Cool. Yes. Please. Thank you. All right. There we go, guys. There we go. All right. Next, we have a team leaders card for the Patriots. So, guys, who hasn't watched The Mandalorian? Because let me tell you, that is good television. Did you just raise your hand, Emily? Yep. Why? I don't know. I said it. Uh, like, oh, Why would you do this hold, to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's she's preparing for her senior year in finals. Give her a break. She'll catch up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Look at this. Look at this. She's done. She's and gone. she hasn't watched the man. I'm not, I'm not really into Star Wars all that much. Ba you don't have to be. Well, I mean, the I'm not into the... Star Wars either, and I just like it because it feels like an old western, but it's like a modern, like sci fi western. Well, I mean, Baby Yoda is taking I, over the internet. I, Baby, I, guess I love Baby, Baby Yoda. I've also seen. I also saw stuff about the. the I guess Mandalorian, I guess that's the character. But it's, it, looked, it does look interesting. It's just. I'm just. I'm not really into Star Wars at the time. Well, I, I really not. I, uh, I'm. I'm not too into Star Wars either, but I watched the first episode and I got really oh, yeah. into it. I got hooked. It's all right. I have we it. have uh, yes. Walter Payton. That's pretty cool. Sweetness. Uh, episode 5 was weak. Ken, uh, yeah, you know, episode 5 wasn't as, like, crazy as, like, the opening episodes. But, you know, they can't all be uh, million dollar episodes. I thought it was pretty cool, you know, uh, that... The, uh, he got betrayed by that guy uh, for his bounty in the episode. Next, we have a Ed Murray. Um, I'm going to make a quick call. Sure. Um, just want to let everyone know, so nine of the 15 um, exhibit spots are gone. Okay. Just let Jim, uh, Jim uh, Ector know that we combined his two. Okay. So they basically got rounded up. So there's nine of 15 gone, six left. Got it. So, guys, there's only six spots left in our exhibits promo. James, if you didn't catch what Layton said... Uh, we combined your orders, so uh, we rounded that up for you. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Only uh, three cards left in uh, your gaggle. So, Ken, uh, when you say uh, it was weak, you know, uh, I thought it was cool uh, that uh, the entry-level uh, bounty hunter, you know, oh, wait, actually, hold on. Spoilers. <laughs> I felt like uh, the guy who was trying to prove himself... I thought it was interesting that he got greedy uh, because I wasn't expecting him to, honestly. He looked like a coward. 
Uh, I thought he was just going to take uh, the bounty and, like, dip. But he shot her and then tried to jump uh, Mando, which was interesting. We have Bruce Harper. Jeff, final card in your gaggle break. We have a Gary Cobb. James, thank you for letting us break this on the show. Hopefully I did your, uh, your cards justice. I know I'm not the uh, expert level breaker here, but uh, I had fun. And uh, I had fun with everyone in the chat, uh, so thank you.